Okay, good evening. I hope you've been having a good weekend. Thanks, Baby Mo, playing earlier. That was amazing. Um, just want to thank Fleur too. She was unable to make it tonight. We're supposed to play tonight. And, um, just want to show my appreciation to her for having me along. My name's Jimmy Bay. I'm going to sing a few songs and tell a couple of stories tonight. I'm unsure where to start. I was going to play a few of my favourite artist songs. Um, I think I'll start off with one of mine. <coughs> I was, um, I've been travelling around Australia for a bunch of time and uh, landed in Adelaide about three years ago. And at one stage I was living on a riverbank down in Lawn, having a good old time and Met a fella down there and after a couple of months we sort of started opening up around the campfire a bit as you do and he ended up telling me about um, the reason he was on the road and uh, what, what he was doing out there and he was searching a bit, of, a bit of closure on this situation that happened to his brother and his brother's wife, uh, a bit of a sad story. <laughs> And uh, so I left that riverbank after a bit and headed up through Victoria and up through central New South Wales and I couldn't get this story out of my head. And so I pulled over on the side of this, this road and there was a, a farm paddock there and I pulled over and wrote this song uh, just to sort of pay respects to the story that I heard and to get it out of my head and took it home.
Thank you very much. Still incapable of tuning while I'm talking. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> That's better. Um, can I get a bunch of reverb for this song, please? I um. I had a crazy stalker last year. Um, <laughs> it got pretty intense and he um, ended up burning photos of me at this altar online on these videos <coughs> and uh, doing a bunch of other wacky stuff. And, um, and it got me thinking about um, things that make you think about people like that through day to day, how people can sort of steal stuff from you, whether that's like a song that reminds you of someone you don't want to think about or um, whatever it is, a smell or a place, or a photo. <laughs> and uh, so I wrote this song last year just about sort of taking that back and um, calling it my own again so you're not frozen in that sort of thing forever. It's called Call It What You Wanna. I just released it the other day. So I'm going to do a little bit of shameless plug as well. I'm up for uh, Country Mus Music Artist of the Year in South Australia. So if you get a chance, um, if, if you don't mind jumping on the, um, the awards page and voting for Jimmy Bay, number one. <laughs> Thank you. At this song, um, <laughs> there's a section in this song where um, I say, like a jet black night, and then there's another section just after that that says, uh, bloodshot red. And we're not allowed to sing along, but if everybody can whisper as loud as they can, jet black night and bloodshot red, that would be amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Open up. 
very much. I'm going to play a song by um, one of my favourite artists, a fellow called Cold the Wall. And uh, it's a murder ballad called Kate McKinnon. Um, this fellow's only 20, 21 when he wrote this song. And um, it's from Saskatchewan. And uh, he um, sort of, he's got a voice like Johnny Cash, real low. And uh, picks like Tans Van Zandt, real technical. And I can't do really either of those things. So I just do my own version of it. <laughs> Outside my prison window, mocking those within. And he sinks to me real low, the cell to where he go. For you did murder Kate.
Kate McKinnon. I was um, over in Kangaroo Island last year when uh, on that fr uh, the day after that Friday where everything went real pear shaped. I was there on the Saturday. We were supposed to play a, um, a festival over there with Archie Roach and that to raise money for Black Hawk Twos over in the area. <coughs> and um, so my friend Sarah. Um, called me up, she said, it's gone all pear-shaped over here, don't worry about it, and so I, I said, no, I'll come over and help, so I kept me um, ferry ticket, and went over and helped to helped move their gear from uh, out near Pandana out to the east, east coast, and um, a few other places, like wineries, and that moved a few barrels of wine, which went down really well. <laughs> and... Uh, and then eventually we, um, after all, it sort of went down and it was starting to come down a little bit after the, it was pretty intense, the ash was falling real heavy where we were and um, we play, ended up playing like a little festival on the, on the foreshore, like a free one for everybody and just to sort of take minds off. And there was one particular fellow that came out and he was a resident there and he lost his house and... Um, he sung a, so uh, sung a song about it and told his story and it was pretty intense to sit there and listen to that. Um, the fireworks going off? Uh, <laughs> There's a circus over there. Fuck, we're missing out on fireworks, everyone. <laughs> I haven't got any on me. <laughs> And so I got back to the mainland um, after that trip um, and wrote this song called Take Some Weight. And it's sort of based on, on what I heard over there and just seeing everybody sort of take, take a bit of weight off each other's shoulders, the strangers and relatives and old people and young people just helping each other out and taking a bit of weight off of... <laughs> in flashbacks. <laughs> it's probably a good background music for this, actually. I 
How do you feel at me? Well, how much do you want it? How much do you want it, babe? There's been so many ways to stay here There's so many ways to go away And I've got burns in my coffin Ghosts laying under my bed I'm gonna lay my head in the gutter Be a dog or better off dead Let me take some weight How do you feel heavy? Oh, let me take some weight Thanks very much. Feels like I'm at some crazy festival now. <laughs> Forgot my headdress and my sequin pants. Someone spent a lot of money on fireworks. Or someone just bought some cheap ones at Pimba on the way to the territory. Ran out of money on the way back from Brisbane. Come back to Adelaide after um, spending a bit of time up there, living in a um, weird little yoga, uh, yoga studio place on the sunny coast. Um, I was wearing uh, zebra print yoga pants five days of the week. And uh, so I did a sort of took off out of there and came back. I was heading back to Adelaide and I ran out of money. I had ten bucks in my pocket and um, and um, maybe half a tank of fuel. And I ended up down near Bathurst somewhere. It was a different <laughs> Bathurst is the f Bathurst is the secret word. And um, so I was there. It was a different way that I normally take. I normally um, head down the coast, um, skip Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, <laughs> and then get below Sydney and, um, and then shoot through, um, cut off that corner of Victoria where all the politicians go on holidays. <laughs> and then um, hit Melbourne and come back to Adelaide. But... Um, I ended up doing a different route, just for something different, and ended up, uh, I was street performing a fair bit at the time, and there wasn't enough people in these towns to make any money at the shopping centres or down the main street or anything, so I was kind of lost for how I was going to make money, and, um, and so I was driving along the highway and went through this little town, and I saw this sign on the side of the road, it was this big, big billboard actually, it was a big billboard. It's a gold in the hills and this big red arrow. So I just turned off and went towards it <laughs> so, for ten bucks. And so I ended up in this little town and um, went to the hardware store, bought myself a um, little gold pan for about eight dollars, nine dollars, size of a small breakfast bowl, and uh, walked around town with it in my hand, um, with the sticker still on it. Asking everybody where I could find gold. <laughs> um, 
So, um, yeah, and then I ended up running into a fella out the front of a takeaway shop and he was sitting there eating a salad with the carrots that were cut out like star shapes. Um, and he told me to go to this place called Safala. And he said, go to Safala and you'll, you'll see the pub on your right and you keep going. Then to the left, there's a, there's a dirt road and it heads off down along this, this creek, this freshwater creek. He said, follow that down, and he started drawing this picture on the back of his receipt, a little mud map for me. And um, he said, go down, and you'll see a, sort of an opening on the left down this dirt road, and go park down there, get out, walk along the creek, and you'll find a sharp bend in the creek. And there's a tree on the edge of this bend, and the, the rains had come through recently and washed all the, all the dirt and everything away from the roots in this tree, so it was fresh ground, apparently. And uh, so I thanked him very much and took his word for it and trundled off in plastic breakfast bowl gold pan and, and um, made it down to the river, found this bend in the creek and found the tree and started digging underneath it. And it was winter time, it was freezing cold and this crazy lady stole my doona. So I was pretty ready to find some gold. <coughs> and so I um, started digging under these roots and I a bit of dirt out. I've never gold pan before, but I've seen it on TV and YouTube and that, so I started washing it off and doing what I saw. And uh, by the time I got to the end of the first pan, I found a bit of gold in the in the bottom. It was probably about two or three bucks worth, which is it doesn't sound like much, but if you can do fifty pans of that a day, you're all good, you know. Um, and so I got a bit excited and I started digging again and got another another pan with a bit of gold in it. And I had these big dreams of grandeur of coming back to Adelaide with <laughs> pockets full of gold and getting gold nuggets and stamping my face on them, making my own currency and just throwing them at bartenders when I walk into places. Um, so I dug and dug and dug and it was about six days later I'm digging, digging, on, the, digging on the bank and moving about three tonne of dirt with this little fold-out trenching shovel and freezing cold and wet and... Yeah, I hadn't found another bit of gold after those first two pans. <laughs> but um, I sat on the bank and wrote a couple of songs. And this is one of them. <laughs> Let's go to Here It Comes. Well, I was camped out on the ocean shore. We stifled by the pain And I sung a song of reverence On a string spun from gold And all the lessons learned And stories gone untold
before he's gone, goodbye. Um, I'm drinking double Jamison whiskey night, no ice. Just uh, played fireworks, I would have just pulled one then. <laughs> um, I'm going to play a song that uh, is my next release. It'll be coming out on the 20th of next month. And um, I wrote this last year, um, probably mid last year, so it was a pretty intense time. And uh, I'd sp spent, primarily spent the most of the last 10 years moving around and visiting people and um, waking up in different places, mountains and rivers and beaches and all that sort of stuff. And it was a big change. And so this song just sort of uh, came out of that. And it's called Till I'm Feeling Well. And it'll be out on um, October 20th. It's a pretty cool song. It's got, um, <laughs> it's got um, pedal slide and everything on it. Take my bus up to Brisbane town Head north along the old Bruce Highway I'm gonna fuck off until I'm feeling well Till I'm feeling well I worked in the mine for um, well, the mines, a mine for a long time on and off. That's what you do when you turn 18 in a mining town. You go out there and do that, and um, become something that you go back to. And I worked underground, which is um, a crazy place. You, you you get you become very close with the, with um, the people you're working with. You know, you're very isolated under the air and put a lot of faith in people and. Um, early in the mornings on night shift you get this time where you've been at work for 12 hour shifts for weeks on end and 
you start losing your marbles a little bit about three o'clock in the morning. You start running things and looping things in your brain. So I used to break everybody out of it by um, getting on the radio when the bosses were talking and singing songs um, through the mind site and um, Pete Andre and the likes, Mysterious Girl and all that. But um, And songs about how shit people were at driving machinery, <laughs> how bad they were at <laughs> driving their loaders or trucks or whatever and how long their grass was going to be when they got home after a three-month stint. <laughs> and um, I used to do that. And But um, I had this one song called Devil that I used to sing down there and uh, that was the favourite of them that the, everybody down there enjoyed the most. It's not really about the devil. It's more just about things you don't like to think about when you're on, on your own for long periods of time. If you're in an office or on a tractor, it doesn't matter where you are. And, um, yeah, this is it anyway. I said, oh, no, no. He said, come on, just give in. I see the devil came down just for me, but I'm going to ruin his plan. I see the devil came down the river. He said, come on, just give in. But well, there ain't no way I'm going near that border. Drag me down so I can't swim. I said, oh, no, no. He said, come on, just give in. Well, the devil came down just for me, but I'm going to ruin his plan. We sailed across the ocean just to come and shake my hand. Well, there ain't no way I'm going near that boat. Staying right here on dry land. I said, oh, no, no. He said, come on, just give in. The devil came down just for me, but I'm going on his plan. We well, dragged me up the country. He said, I'm going to clip your wings. So I wrapped a guitar string around his neck. He said, now nah, you're the bird of you sing. I said, oh, no, no. He said, come on, just give in. Well, the devil came down just for me, but I'm going to ruin his plan. Well, I dragged that big old devil up under the pines. Well, I dropped him down a big dark hole with the rock on his head just to clear my mind. Said, oh, no, no. He said, come on, just give in. The devil came down just for me, but I went to ruin his plan. Whew. All right. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, actually, that was a sombre song. I'll sing a different one out of this one. Um, this is a song I wrote after taking too much LSD down the Murray River. And uh, it was a bit of a situation where I ended up down there to visit some mates, having a good time. And uh, we all got our heads together, as you do. And um, we thought it'd be a great idea to play Russian roulette with, with um, LSD. So we put three tabs of acid into a bottle of Cooper's Pale Ale and um, put it back in the esky with the rest of the carton, mixed it all around and then played Skulls until the esky was gone or until someone started feeling the effects of this random bottle that had acid in it. <coughs> I got it. And um, quickly regretted it afterwards. They weren't muck about tabs either. And uh, also, it's sort of based on a, another time um, with Juju Lollies up in um, central uh, Queensland coast. Where it went a little bit pear shaped. But this fucking crazy lady stole ten dollars out of my hand, my last money. I know ten dollars is like a reoccurring thing, but generally that was the the biggest notes I had at the time. And I went to buy a hot dog, and she nicked it out of my hand, ran off down the street. Well, I went down the river to have some tea Fell down that hole after three tabs of LSD And old Jimmy 
What have you done? Where have you took three tabs when you should have taken one? I'm hot by the river just to pass the time and the rolling river rolls on. Oh dear me, float out to sea All them pretty fishes, they were talking to me They said, oh Jimmy, what have you done? Well, you took three times when you should have taken one I'm high by the river, just to pass the time And the rolling river rolls on Well, she took my money, she headed for the hills Couldn't buy myself no food, couldn't pay my bills She woke me in the morning, punched me in the eye Cut me up so bad, bad, that I must die I said, oh Jimmy, what have you done? Well, you took three times when you should have taken one I'm high by the river, just to pass the time and the rolling river rolls on And oh Jimmy, what have you done? Well, you took three times when you should have taken one I'm high by the river just to pass the time And the rolling river rolls on Thank you. I got lost on the way to Cairns. Um, probably about two and a half years ago now. Close to that, maybe two and a bit. And uh, I was going up to play this festival called the Tablelands Festival. And uh, I was just inland of Cairns. I had two days to get there from Adelaide because I had a, a bunch of shows down here. And um, so I finished the show maybe like 10 o'clock at night and I packed up and I just put all my gear in my 2003 Commodore station wagon and um, headed off. And I got to Broken Hill about maybe 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm not 100% sure on the time. Um, but I thought I'd take a shortcut from Broken Hill up through the middle. Um, I went to school in Charters Towers, so I was, I was looking at Charters Towers and I was just going straight up through the middle of New South Wales, straight up through the middle of Queensland, pop out the coast, hit Cairns, go to the festival, sweet, all done. Um, turns out 200 k's out of town on the road that I turned up on Broken Hill, turned into a full drive track and um, I spent 600 kilometres on that track um, with bowling ball size rocks all over the road building bridges over dry creek beds to get my car through and um, like maybe like a foot deep of uh, bull dust as well, that sort of stuff. But it was, it was a good adventure. I went through the dog fence, if anybody's been through the dog fence. It's a um, pretty cool sight to see. It's a big uh, 12, 15 foot fence that runs from horizon to horizon and you just open a gate and it just has heaps of signs saying shut the gate. <laughs> <laughs> when you go through, just to remind you. And um, anyway, I made it there in two days, all the way from Adelaide through those four drive tracks, up through Queensland and New South Wales, all the way to Cairns in two days in the 2003 piece of shit station wagon. <laughs> and wrote this song under a tree. It's called Dirt Roads.
Well, come with me, darling. Come run away. Where there's so many dirt roads we can take. And I can hear them coming through that old rusty gate, picking dust up along the way. And we could sail across the ocean on a boat made of regret. On the lonely beach, just drifting with the tide. And I know we've got to get there, but I don't know how to swim. The birds, they start circling the sky. Will come with me, darling. Come run away. Where there's so many dirt roads that we could take. And I can hear them coming through that old rusty gate, picking dust up along the way. And we could sail across the ocean on a boat made of regret. Find a lonely beach just drifting with the tide. And I know we've got to get there, but I don't know how to swim. And the birds, they start circling the sky. Yeah, we could sail across the ocean on a boat made of regret. Find a lonely beach just drifting with the tide. And I know we've got to get there, but I don't know how to swim. And the birds, they start circling the sky. Thank you. All right, I might have one more song left, I think. Um, <clears throat> not sure what to do. I do this song. This song is called Country Kids. And um, I don't know, I just moved to the city about three or four years ago. So, first time I ever lived in, in um, any kind of big town. Grew up in, um, in the Red Sand and little towns on the coast in Queensland and stuff. And, um, grew up drinking goon bags and punching billies in the Lions Park. And we... So you might, if you if you grew up in the country, you might relate to this. You won't know the characters, but you might relate to them anyway. Um, I just want to thank um, Baby Mo for coming down. Thank you so much. Big round of applause. Amazing. And um, Flo couldn't make it tonight, but I'm sure she'll be back. Put another show on. And uh, I'm Jimmy Bay, but number one country music artist of the year. <laughs> South Australian Music Awards. Thank you very much.
Jimmy walked away from us, out into the street. Got hit in the head with a two by four and knocked him off his feet. The brother ran down first, he said, try that shit on me. Then a man came out of nowhere, took a bat to Sammy's knee. We were country kids with nothing much to do. Just hang around the Lions Park, we won't bother you. We were country kids with nothing much to say. Just hang around the streets at night, sleeping through the day. Tommy got a missus and he moved down to the port She got him on the gear, now he spends his time in court And Prito's punching billies and playing 64 And Buggy's in Sejuna, we don't see him anymore We were country kids with nothing much to say just hang around the streets at night, sleeping through the day. We were country kids with nothing much to do. Just hang around the Lions Park, we won't bother you. We were country kids with nothing much to say Just hang around the streets at night, sleeping through the day We were country kids with nothing much to do Just hang around the Lions Park, we won't bother you Thank you very much. Hope you have an amazing weekend. Enjoy. Also, I've got one CD left. Twenty bucks, uh, forty bucks. I mean, <laughs> it's up here. <laughs>